Hey there everybody, this is NDM here, welcoming you back to another episode of Let's Play Jet Force Gemini. Right, so in the last episode, uh, we did second met, as you know, we pretty much collected all the co collectibles there for what it's worth. Um, there are nothing, uh, there's nothing else that we need to get from second met anymore, so we don't need to worry about that place. Now, we're just doing Tor Fret as Vela, and hopefully we're going to get some more collectibles and some, and another spaceship part too. But we don't need to go tribal hunting here either, so... We can pretty much just rush this level for and um, kill every alien in sight as fast as we can and try and get to the next level because the next level is pretty much where everything is, like where all the where all Vela's collectibles are that she needs to get from here is in the second level. So we need to hurry up and get there as fast as we can. And this is probably going to be the last recording in the recording session today because I've recorded six videos now and I need to get all those videos edited. So, um, hopefully I get everything that I want done in this video, because if I don't, then I'm going to have to record another video. Um, right, where's this, there's another drone around here, I swear there is somewhere, it's lurking around. Well, Floyd has detected something, so he must be, oh yeah, there he is, hiding from me. Well, I can kill you with a plasma shotgun, man, just destroy you with a, uh, I need to destroy you with homing rockets. And she's out of tri rocket ammo, seriously. Oh well, we'll be getting tri rocket ammo shortly anyway. Yeah, cluster bomb will take you out. <laughs> uh, where'd your head go, Mister? Uh, I don't know. I, I don't really care about the head. I'm not gonna s waste my time searching for a head. Well, I need to get some ammo definitely for her. She's running a bit low on it. Um, just run low on sniper ammo, tri rocket ammo, but the good thing is that this area you can actually restock on some tri rocket ammo and it's a full ammunition restock, so it would be wise to pick that up because there are zombie drones everywhere. On the well on the first two levels there are anyway. Like the last level, no there aren't zombie drones at all, it's just the first two levels. And this is one of the areas that we need to use Vela for to get to an inaccessible area and it's down here in this cave. As you can see that there are bubbles oozing out of it, so that means that there is obviously an entrance. In most games that's what it means. <laughs> right, so where are the bubbles coming from? Because I see my bubbles coming out of from my respiration, but I don't see any bubbles coming out of the cave. Is it this cave that I'm looking for? Is there a different one? No, it's this one all the way over here where you've been silly. <laughs> yeah, it's this one down here. Right. And this will take you to a bonus totem pole, I believe. Uh, it won't take you to no tribals or nothing, no ca no capacities. So it's just a little bonus feature. And I think there are some capacities that Vela can pick up from here, I'm not entirely sure, but we can also get the remote mines from here, and we can also get her the flares too. So... Is there... I don't know if there's anything up there that I'm missing, because we haven't been to that platform over there. And I'm pretty sure that there's capacity up there, but let me use my sniper rifle. We might even be able to get a look at it and see if there is. Uh, no. I don't think there actually are, but if there are, then Lupus is, is the only one who can get it, because he's the only one who can fly over there. But we haven't been here as Lupus yet, so... We will have to eventually, you know, to get the flares and stuff as Lupus and uh, the remote mines, so we will have to come back here to get some collectibles as him to Oh, commenta commentary just suddenly got awkward. I found out I've run out of things to say. Can't think of anything <laughs> right now at the moment because like I don't know where we're gonna go next or anything like that. Um, probably we we'll might go to um, Icor next as Lupus because pretty much what I want to do for well actually I don't know because there's still the SS Anubis that I need to clear out as well. I haven't cleared out that area yet, and there's still some levels in Wrythe Esser I still haven't cleared out. 
So we might even go to SS Anubis again as Vela, probably. Yeah, Vela would definitely most benefit from the uh, the passageway level inside. Uh, no, actually, no. I think I'll probably go there as Juno instead because there are capacities in there that he will benefit from too. So I'll probably go there as Juno. And then we've got the uh, Rice Essa level as Juno to do. Which will all get done um, in the next recording session. Probably not. It probably won't happen tomorrow because I've got plenty of videos recorded now. It'll probably be on Wednesday. I'll next record some Jet Force. It's now Monday, the fourth of August, um, 2014. Ah, uh, we got a bunch of these things. Yeah, right. right. Pick up the invincibility here, because these machine gun drones are not friendly at all. <laughs> and I hardly took any of them out just then, I had the perfect opportunity. To take every single one of them out and I just completely missed my fire. It's all over the place. But the good thing is the room with the tree like the, the like the huge lake, you don't have to kill all the aliens in there to open any life force door or anything. So all I'm going to do is get everything from what it's worth in that room, pretty much, and then go to the final area of the level, which is where Floyd was being held captive, and get the flares and the remote mines. All right, so now we need to go underneath the water here. And believe it or not, there is another secret area down here which we need to use Vela to get to. And it's another, you, you, can, you can see it from bubbles coming out of it. So if we go around or pan around here, as you can see, I'm pretty sure you see bubbles coming out of it if you're like above the water. I don't know if you can see it from under the water though. Well, my bubbles are going all over the place and I can't even seem to get under here. I'm just going over it. <laughs> And as you can see, it's this guy again, the guy who we needed to give his underwear to, and surprisingly enough, he's hiding in the same place where his underwear was lost. So why are you, why are you hiding here where you lost your underwear? You're going to end up losing it again, man. And here we go, we got ourselves another spaceship part. <laughs> so he, yeah, he gives you a spaceship part. And we'll have a look and see what that is right now. And it is... It is the cargo bay key. Wow, that looks very cyan bluish color, like the crystal that's sticking out of it. I like the color cyan blue. Like that's one of my favorite colors, cyan blue. Or cyan blue. I don't know how you say it. Uh, it, it sounds more like cyan or cyan. Cyan blue. Like when I played SRB2, which is like an online uh, Sonic game, like an online Flash Sonic game, um, y you could choose different colors of which characters you wanted to change into. Um, and I always used to play as Cyan um, Tails, or I used to play as Silver Tails, because Tails is like my favorite character in that game because he can fly and he can pretty much go everywhere. I, I used to be so addicted to that game. Like, online in that game was so much fun. <laughs> and people still play it online, too. Uh, a recent update was released for it, I think, last... I think it was in May it was released. I still have it on my desktop, SRB2. I even have SRB2 GTE on my desktop, which was, all, which was like the funnest version of SRB2 online. That was my favorite version online, because you could use all these old boards that you could get. Um, like House 2. What you could play that online. You could play SA City online, which was like a really huge map, like a really huge city. Um, there was also well, they've got some pretty cool levels on the new version, like 2.0, when 2.0 came out, because um, SRB2 GTE was 1.09, and SR the new version of SRB2 is SRB2 2.0. 
seven, I think, 2.0.7 or something like that, I think it is, 2.7, I can't remember, yeah, that's the new version, but I used to play 2.6, and they had some pretty cool levels on that, on the 2 point version, um, for example, TYR City, that was a fun level, and, and if you played the nighttime version of that level, it had the music from Earthbound in it when you're in 3 so it was like kind of a zombie level. But you could play match in that level as well, and playing match and tag, hide and seek was really fun. <laughs> and playing split screen with your friends is good too. Like it, like we'd have some friends over and we'd play it. I don't know why I stopped playing that game. It's been a while since I last went online on that. I also used to make my own levels, like my own maps, because you can use Doom Builder, which is like a map designer. But it's so complicated to use. But once you get used to it, it's really fun to do. Like I made a kind of a Zelda-y map, where I, where I made like an overworld, and I made like dungeons, and you had to fight the boss. And then once you beat the boss, you get one Chaos Emerald. And those were like your medallions and things. Like, it was really creative. <laughs> but my file corrupted, so I... Well, the file that I was working on, the map, corrupted, so I couldn't work on it anymore. And that was a shame. I, I got really annoyed with that, because the progress that I was making on it was so damn good. Like, I think I did the Fire Dungeon, which was the seventh dungeon in my, um... In my in my adventure dot world, which is what which is what I called it, adventure dot world, and it was like an overworld with a bunch of dungeons. Yeah, I like the water dungeon that I created in it. That was pretty cool. Uh, Essus Anubis here. Like I've been like I got a mouse recently, and I've been wanting to redo that level or redo it again, like get my creativity going because. Like, that was so much fun, just sitting there and building a map in Doom Builder. Like, it was a long project, too. It took me about three months to make that level, up to the point where I got to the ninth dungeon, I think it was, or the eighth dungeon, where you go to the sky and you have to fight Eggman in the sky. And I was going to put, like, a thundery background. It was really cool, but... Uh, sadly, that project was unfinished. And I couldn't finish it off because it corrupted. Right, so yeah, I have decided we're going to do SS Anubis in the next episode as Juno. And we're going to be going up there, up that away. So, let me zoom in, see. There you go, we'll be going up that door in the next episode of Let's Play Jet Force Gemini. So, until then, this is NDM saying thanks for watching. Take care, everybody. See you on my next video. And goodbye.